I'm the IT director at Marysville Schools. We have roughly 5,200 students, 800 staff, five elementaries, one intermediate school, uh, one middle school, and two high schools. So three years ago, we had an initiative where uh, we piloted a one-to-one -one with our sophomores. Um, and at that time, our current Wi-Fi could handle what we had. We didn't have a lot of laptops, we didn't have any Chromebooks, but as we started to implement that one-to-one -one initiative, um, we started to see some issues with our Wi-Fi connectivity. And so that initiative that started three years ago, now we are five through 12 one-to-one. -one. So we have Chromebooks for every kid five through 12. Our staff now have laptops, so no more desktops. So all those devices within the last few years have been put on our network and we saw a big uh, degrading of our network and things that we couldn't do that we wanted to do. I'm the network engineer at Marysville Schools, you know, managing the server side as well as the wireless, um, and just keeping everything running. When it comes to students, you've got a slew of wireless devices, whether it's uh, iPhones, Android phones, uh, tablets, Chromebooks, uh, laptops, you name it. Prior to Mojo, help desk tickets were at an all-time high. We were constantly getting uh, notifications from teachers that whether they were doing testing on Chromebooks or just trying to uh, use an application online on a Chromebook, just was not working out. It couldn't hold the clients and it couldn't hold the speed. And so we were asking our teachers and our staff to be able to use our LMS, Schoology, to be able to do the things that needed to be done in the classroom. But the problem was, is though we handed devices to students and staff, the, the infrastructure wasn't there. And we knew immediately that we had to make a change. And we asked wireless companies to come in and to uh, you know, give us a rundown, tell us about their network, their infrastructure, what they do, the pros, the cons, and we kind of walked through that and we decided on Mojo. You know, how Mojo separated itself from the other vendors, school districts don't have that much money. Everybody knows that, and so, you know, looking at cost as being one of those factors is that when we looked at all of the solution, the vendors, and everybody had good products, but Mojo's product stood above everyone else's with the cloud platform, with the Layer 7 technology, with the security and WIPs. Um, they set themselves apart, but then when you looked at the price, and for some of the vendors versus Mojo, it was half the cost. So for us, it was a no-brainer. The cloud platform was huge for us. The scalability, the things that we could do going forward, there was no limitation. With students bringing their own devices into our building, we want to give them accessibility. We are coming up with red zones and green zones. Green zones, of course, all go. We will allow things like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know, down in the library or down in the cafeteria. But then we also have red zones where we don't want in a learning environment in a classroom students to be able to access uh, social media. And so what Mojo allows us to do with, with the APs is to block those zones down with Layer 7 technology. The dashboard makes it really nice and convenient just a quick glance and you can see what is happening from a high level with your wireless network. Having that third radio in the C130 for uh, spectrum analysis and resource uh, management is huge. And knowing that you have the, the 4x4 uh, multi in multi out to be able to troubleshoot remotely to a to a different site um, if say they're having an issue with an AP I can get in there remotely I can utilize that third radio by turning an AP into a client and testing to that location to see what sort of throughput I'm getting having the third radio is a big benefit when it comes to state testing sometimes we need to go ahead and test the wireless coverage in in the building that is going to be performing that state testing so being able to get on the AP test the wireless in that room from another AP uh, is a huge benefit. Prior to Mojo, we had an issue when we were given state testing at the high school. We had a ton of Chromebooks that actually needed to be updated prior to being able to do the testing. And with that, the existing wireless could not handle it. The APs were so slow and we had four APs in the studio and they couldn't handle the traffic of 100 students. So we had roughly 100 students in the studio that were trying to do state testing and they couldn't take the test. Christian took a Mojo access point down to the studio, plugged it in, and it just worked. And all 100 students, all the Chromebooks were able to get on and take the test. Every single Chromebook was actually running updates and continued to run. All 100 students were taking their test through one Mojo AP. The AP never gave way, um, never had any issues. And we knew right then and there that we had made the right decision, that Mojo was the way. We wanted scalability and we wanted ease of use. When we installed the Mojo APs, they just worked. Like everything worked. 
plug and play. The amount of help desk tickets drop tremendously. We don't hear from clients. If we do, it's maybe they have the wrong password, that sort of thing. Um, but they just work. The problem is, is that we have no more Wi-Fi jokes in the tech office because the Mojo APs, they just work.